will know that there is a way out of everything. There is a way out of everything. There is a way out of everything. I'm going to request that you lay your hands on your head and for the next two or three minutes, please cry from the depth of your heart. Lord, I desire a testimony. Let it be clear that I met you tonight. Someone pray. Let it be clear that I met you tonight. Let it be clear that I met your power tonight. Let it be clear that your wisdom has rested upon me tonight. Let it be clear that you heal through my life. I know you heal, but Lord, give me an evidence, a token tonight. Outside, pray. Let it be clear through my life that you still anoint men. Let it be clear through my life that you still lift burdens. Let it be clear through my life that you still cause men to remember men. Let it be clear through my life that a book of remembrance can be opened. A preacher pray. A tired mother pray. A tired father pray. Someone in debt pray. 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 Someone tired of curses, tired of demonic operations, pray. You came here to receive. You came here to receive. Sali kapelando salakrafata malakata. Leprakata belegata paratos. Let it be clear through my life that you can place fire upon a man. Let it be clear through my life that your favor can speak in the life of a man. Let it be clear through my life that you restore. Let it be clear through my... Give me the experience of the world that I become a living epistle after this miracle service. One more minute, you are praying. Across the globe, make sure you pray. Release your heart, release your faith. Knowing that God is the only helper, the only one who can help men, longevity of help resides only with the God of the Bible. All lasting help comes from God and God alone. Number two, you must have defined expectations. I'm helping to give definition to your expectations. Number three, you must believe in the Lord and believe in his servant. Believe in the Lord. And believe in the vessel that he will use number four be prepared to take actions of faith actions of obedience you're receiving the manifestation of God's promises is faith dependent insist I must walk away with a testimony a testimony of breakthrough, the help of men, deliverance, rising, lifting, a job, promotion, fresh fire upon my destiny. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Rise up on your feet now, please. Hello, Himadonai. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Elohim Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Elohim Adonai, thy kingdom come. Are you ready to receive this is what a miracle service is about you are cultured by the word to know how to receive you will see how easy it is for the power of God to touch you because once faith is there now you understand what to do you make the assignment easy for the Holy Spirit to reach you and give you testimonies hallelujah I'm going to ask you to bring all those under the anointing will be very very fast very fast you are not shouting you're not doing anything the power of God is going to begin to move please let me have those people here it's not a deliverance happening to them there is a kind of impartation that God is bringing 
and I want you to bring them out. I will pray deliverance shortly afterwards. Father, in the name of Jesus, as you're revealing this to me, I'm praying that everyone, I'm seeing like oil from a bottle just flowing on the ground. In the name of Jesus Christ, whoever must drink of that oil, that, that oil that sets you apart for some producing favor, for some rewriting your destiny, in the name of Jesus, please very quickly let me have them out. Salimeneko Savraskabalatu Savratizilas. Menando Savratzibelakusiata. Inside this auditorium, outside everywhere, I stretch my hands. I'm seeing oil by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let it rest on people right now. Let it flow to you. Let it flow to you. For someone is bringing ease to your life. You've gone through hardship. Hardship. This is what God is taking out of your life. This cause of hardship. This yoke of hardship. Cause of hardship. Yoke of hardship. The cause of hardship. There are families who have gone through this. In the name of Jesus, God is able to give men rest. I pray that this oil will flow to you right now, outside, inside. Let it flow, let it flow, let it flow by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let it flow in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be surprised at the things that begin to happen to you. Some of you, even from this service right now, before the service is done, miracles, miracles, supernatural manifestations of God's power. Ah, 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 ah. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing stones. I believe this represents altars. I want to pray now. I'm seeing stones. In the name of Jesus, if there be anyone under the sound of my voice who is a victim of ancestry, activities of darkness, altars and yokes, manifesting in your dreams, stopping doors of favor, cutting short the ministry of helpers, you are going to shout the name Jesus and let that fire rest upon you and consume every altar. Are you ready at the count of three? One, two, three, shout Jesus. I curse every altar. I curse every altar in the name of Jesus by the blood, by the blood of the eternal covenant, by the blood of the eternal covenant. I arrest every spirit tying down lives. I arrest every spirit tying down families. You give way now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm hearing the, the, the spirit of heaviness. There's a, there's a manifestation of that spirit in the Bible. Now you'll be given a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. I don't know who that is, but an anointing is coming upon you. That spirit of heaviness manifesting as depression, manifest as suicidal thoughts in the name of Jesus. Now I declare, let it be broken, let it be broken, let it be broken, let it be broken. Now the spirit of heaviness be loose from it right now. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the vision of a gentleman and others are walking forward. But what I'm seeing in my vision is you are walking backward. This is what I'm seeing. Not that you are looking back. You are walking back while others are going forward. This is what I see. You know, let me tell you, backwardness is a curse. Because the Bible says the path of the just. 
is as a shining light. You can be backward in ministry, in cream, uh, I mean, progressive decline, if I will use that expression. That means there is no day that is ever better than the previous one. No. All your yesterdays are always better than your tomorrows. I want to cause that spirit right now. Anyone here, Jesus, the spirit of backwardness, responsible for retrogression, financial retrogression, responsible for ministry, responsible for the decline in families. I decree and declare, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Hear me. The Lord is saying I should tell someone, there is an explanation as to what killed your father. There is an explanation as to what killed your mother. There is an explanation as to what is killing the men in your family. I decree and declare any programming from hell that after every season somebody must die as a sacrifice, die by witchcraft or by accident. I decree and declare right now, let fire from heaven, my God, fall upon every altar, every altar fueling death, every altar fueling death, every altar fueling death be destroyed now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Bible says, do not let your good be evil spoken of. The Lord wants to minister to someone. There is nothing good you do that is perceived as good. It's like there is a covering cast on you. And people always misinterpret what you do. Always, whether it's in the place of work, whether it's in the house of God, and anything good you do, it is always misinterpreted. I pray for you. Every covering cast on anyone, misrepresenting you, making you look evil whereas you are good, making you look dishonest whereas you are honest. I tear that veil now. 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 Hallelujah. The Lord is speaking to me about someone. You are always afraid of good things because they never last. It's like there is a curse in your family. Nobody celebrates longevity of good things. If you rejoice over a job, Death will come and cancel the story. If you rejoice over a child that is born, another tragedy always comes to cancel what God is doing. I want to pray for that person. Not everybody, but there's someone here and that anointing will come upon you as I pray. In the name of Jesus, whatever makes evil to outlive good, whatever makes the testimony of God's faithfulness to die prematurely over your family, I come by this anointing and I come by this mantle right now. In the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Did you bring a guitar? Please play the strings for me. Elato Savlia Kasha Brandigi Balatos Kiata. You always return to your parents' homes after you marry. It's a spirit. Nobody stays successfully in marriage. It, something must happen. Either a quarrel with your spouse, either whatever it is, it's a demonic enchantment. In the name of Jesus, I'm praying for someone right now. Release your faith as I pray. There is a lady, I'm seeing you, you are from Edo State. This is what happens to your family. Nobody, either they get pregnant outside of wedlock or even if they make it to marriage, 
It's only as if they just went for an excursion, they returned back. You are from a dose state. The power of God is touching you. Where is that lady? If, is there someone like that? You are from a dose state. This, this is what happens to your family. In the name that is above all names, I pray for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Where are you from? Edo State. Yes. Sir. How many are you in your family? We are six. Six? Yes. Sir. Are they married? Yes, sir. My, my other sister have four children for four different men. Four children from yes, four sir. different men? Yes, sir. Something will just happen and they will send her back home. Something will happen and the men. Oh, she married four different men? Yes, sir. And had children and they sent her back yes, home? Sir. That's all right. That's okay. The Bible says, even the lawful captives. Don't be too quick to condemn people though. There are influences that move people, even the lawful captives. What God says to one, he says to all. I want to use this, my dear sister, as a point of contact. If there is any spirit that says you will not enjoy your home, that you will be there and be driven away like a fugitive in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit, that yoke is hereby broken. 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 Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a lady. I don't know if it's you or your sister. You've had like three or four people die. Children. You give birth but they die. Either they come out a stillbirth or maybe some kind of premature experience. This is, this is children dying. If there's such a person, let me speak to you. Else we'll just continue. In the name that is above all names. It's a spirit. Either you give birth to a child and then the child dies. You see that by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I decree and declare whatever eats up children to make sure that you don't deliver. Look up. The Bible says, I saw a mystery in heaven. And that mystery was a woman who was pregnant with a man child. She was about to give birth. And he said a dragon came from nowhere and stood. Just waiting for her to give birth. So that she will eat the child. A child may mean a physical child. But a child may mean a vision. A child may mean anything that comes out of you. A product of your sacrifice and creativity. I pray for you. Every demonic thing waiting to eat up your sacrifice, your sweat. And even physical children. By the blood of the eternal covenant, that agreement is hereby cancelled. That agreement with hell is hereby cancelled. That agreement with hell is hereby cancelled. That agreement with hell is hereby cancelled. I'm hearing a name, I believe that should be the northern part of Nigeria, Godia. Godia, that's Thanksgiving in Hausa. Who has that name? Godia. There is somebody with that name. I want to pray for you. Please make sure if that is not your name, don't worry. You can stay where you are and receive. I'm hearing the name Godia. Then I'm hearing the name Ephraim. 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 Who is that person? Ephraim. The Lord is saying rebuke the spirit of death. Ephraim. I'm hearing that name. Rebuke the spirit of death. There is a plot to take that person by hell. Ephraim. In the name of Jesus. If that is your name, Please, if it's not your name, just sit back where you are. And I'm not a prophet of doom. When God reveals, it is because he wants to redeem. Ephraim, in the name of Jesus, I want to pray for you. That no arrow will be fired into your body as mysterious sickness that the hospital cannot diagnose. And suddenly you wake up one morning and the man dies in the night. I pray for you. What's your name? I pray for you. What God says to one. You see, the thing about prophecy is not just about God isolating individuals at the mercy of others, at the expense of others. No. God only uses someone as a point of contact to announce many people's condition. Are we together now? So you receive by faith. Please, if you are not in the category that I called where house of order, make sure you stay back. Godia. Who is Godia? All of you? there is a woman here God wants to set you free you don't have to come out every time you take in a man comes to you in a dream 
to try to molest you and even while you are already once that happens you must lose the pregnancy it doesn't matter what happens you will find out you start seeing blood and that becomes the end of it i need to pray for you because it's a season you don't need to come out you are going to receive by faith this is something every time you get married it's like there is another husband and once that man shows up in the dream you must lose that child doesn't matter how many months of pregnancy you have it's a demonic programming the Bible says casting down every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ I'm still praying again I use this gentleman Ephraim I'm speaking by the influence of the spirit every death the plague of death by the cause of sickness mysterious sickness that cannot be diagnosed in the hospital and someone just keeps emaciating until you die looking like maybe HIV or something in the name of Jesus we cancel it now 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 I'm saying it by the anointing what killed your father will not kill you what killed your father will not kill you we speak life in the name of Jesus Oh dear, I want to pray for you. Is there someone with a name like Asabe? That looks like a Muslim name. Huh? Your auntie, where are you from? I'm from Kaduna no, I'm State. I'm talking of somebody here. Well, I will pray for you, but Asabe, I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. I'm still hearing that name again. Asabe looks like a Muslim name. Or, well, sometimes Christians can, can have it too. Please verify so we don't have people. What is he coming out for? Your name is Asabe? Huh? Your mom? Okay, let him come. If, if it's his mom. Where is she? Meduguri? Plateau? Okay, no problem. You can come. When God reveals things like this, ladies and gentlemen, he's not wasting your time. And don't just focus on those who are in front. I'm saying it again. Prophecy uses an individual case as a point of contact. Are we together? It's the same grace that rests on someone. The Lord is showing me a lady. You never have profitable relationships. This is marriage relationships. You are a very beautiful lady. You love God. But the moment a man... And I'm seeing that a curse was pronounced by a man of God over your grandfather. This is what I'm seeing. A curse was pronounced by a man of God over your grandfather. That because of something he did to insult the name of Jesus, that it, it would be like, it's like a, a curse out of anger. I'm not a prophet of doom. God is solving issues here. If a man comes to you and says, I want to see your parents, that statement alone, something happens. Either his finances will go down or people will advise it against you. But I pray, let, let fire from heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray mercy. Whatever made that cause to come upon your family and your bloodline by the blood of the eternal covenant, I cry mercy, mercy, mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, what is the lamb that was slain? He was already slain. You cannot suffer the consequences of what grandfathers or forefathers did. Therefore, let fire destroy that altar. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. They want to go and see your parents. And it looks like an embargo just comes. And you cannot even understand it character loving Jesus listen look at me believe me I don't mean to scare you but you must understand spirit transactions over the destinies of men otherwise if you fool yourself that life is only scientific or physical or sociological you will be cheated a thousand times hallelujah I want to pray for you, Asabe, in the name of Jesus. My sister, look at me, that lady, what do you do? 
I'm a lawyer, but I work in an NGO. An NGO. Where are you from? I'm from Adama State. Father, in the name of Jesus, look at me. I'm seeing that you, I don't know if you are doing it or you're going to start a business. This is what God will use to prosper you in a way. Huh? God will lift you. You know how God lifts somebody and uses the person to wipe the tears of their family members. I place grace upon you. Go and write it. Make sure you go through this prophetic word and act on it by faith. I don't know who God needs to raise like that. There will always be someone God will raise to wipe the tears of a family. It is God's intention to reach everybody, but it starts with one person. I'm praying for you, and an anointing is going to come on people now. If you are the one anointed to be the opener of ancient doors over your family, that a door that has refused to open, God is anointing you at this miracle service. You are carrying the mantle of a warrior. You are the one who will open that door ministerially. Open that door financially. Open that door maritally. Right now, receive that impartation. Receive that impartation. Receive that impartation. Receive that impartation. That impartation. Whether male or female, I say it again. The grace that opens doors, that you are the first person that God will use to deliver your family from shame, from reproach. Let that grace rest on you now. In the name of Jesus. Now, let me pray for those in front so that they can go back to their seats for those who can. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, the Lord brought you out here. The graces you have received remain with you. And the demonic spirits that have troubled you, hear the word of the Lord. I command those influences to live your life forever. Never to return again. In Jesus' name. So those who are under the anointing in front and they can't, please let them walk victoriously back to their seats. Hallelujah. Godia, did I prophesy? Have I spoken about them? I want to pray for you. Behold... The glory of the Lord. Behold the lion and the lamb. Behold the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. I cancel this obituary I'm seeing. I'm seeing that this week, I don't know if the person is here, but I'm seeing a car accident, a car and a tree. This is, and the car is ramping to a tree and everybody in the vehicle, whole family with all the children. In the name of Jesus, I cry unto the God of all grace. We cancel it now. It's always a demonic thing. Always a demonic thing. We cancel it now. Oh, we exert dominion over this vision. We cancel this accident now. We cancel this accident now. I declare the covering of the blood upon your head. You and your children will not die by accident. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. There's a woman here. You are a teacher. Teacher in a secondary school teacher in a secondary school I want to pray for you because I'm seeing God wants to do something I'm seeing at least four children you're a woman you are a teacher you teach that's what you do in a secondary school um, I pray for you please place your hand I want to rebuke there's something anything that is growing in your stomach whether as fibroid or whatever it is in the name that is above all names, I decree and declare now, let that demonic thing die. You had a dream, and in that dream, you saw a diagnosis, and it was cancer. I'm not saying you have cancer. You had a dream. Please, if there's such a person here, I want you to come out. Come. How do I know what dream you had? Come. You had a dream. It was a diagnosis in that dream. And it was cancer. 
Do you know? Please look up. I don't mean to scare you. It's a miracle service. I remember back then in Zaria, that was the first time I saw that vision. I'm not saying if you have cancer, I'm going to pray for the sick. I've not prayed for the sick yet. There's a reason why I'm doing what I'm doing. I remember praying for a woman many years ago. And this woman said someone came to her in a dream holding a syringe and saying this is HIV, uh, uh, HIV virus injected her in the dream. She woke up physically and started having symptoms of HIV. And then the trouble is that it was not only her. It started spreading to the... You can imagine a family. Nothing at all that should bring HIV. And yet all of them like that, HIV. This work of ministry is like medicine. You will see a lot of things. A lot of things. But the Bible says, thanks be to God. I pray for all of you. Any planting of Satan. Huh? I will pray for the ones who I just mentioned now with the case for cancer. But in the name of Jesus, I'm praying for you, Godia. In the name of Jesus, between now and August, for one of you, one of you, between now and August, God is telling me that what he will do in your life will bring you rest. Because this has been your prayer. Rest. And one of the issues is marriage. Rest. It will, it will happen so fast it will surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ. It will happen so fast it will surprise you. In the name of Jesus and for anything that the devil has planted help that lady in your stomach fibroids or whatever growths i curse it right now it stops growing and it dies permanently help that lady in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus a dream was it not through a dream solomon received wisdom dreams are vehicles they can transfer nonsense and they can transfer grace a dream is also a portal in the spirit father in the name of jesus i pray for you i know some of you here didn't really have a dream you just came up but no problem the mercy of god but hallelujah obedience sometimes when you want to receive from god just just obey amen but let's pray god is a merciful god father i decree and declare anyone carrying anything in their body now that came from a dream realm and is waiting quietly to manifest as cancer waiting you are you are beginning to see symptoms pain weakness growth that looks like appendicitis but it's not appendicitis in the name of jesus because for someone i i'm, I'm i don't want you to, to i'm seeing it looks like almost like an ovarian cyst but it's not it's not a cyst is is growing to become something that is cancerous in the name of jesus we cry unto the god of heaven let it stop growing now and die from this body let it stop growing now and die from this body let it stop growing now and die from this body i say it again let it stop growing now and die from this body in the name of jesus I may not have the liberty to describe what I'm seeing. You're a lady, but you need help. This one, what you need is both prayer and medical attention. Please listen to me now. What you need because there's, there's wisdom in dealing with things. Because with what the Lord is revealing to me, this is something that is a reproductory problem. You may need to meet the medical uh, uh, people maybe immediately to help you. Because I'm going to pray for you, but in all honesty, you also need to be attended to medically. Because I'm seeing that this has, it's not something that is good. And let me use this opportunity and challenge believers. We are people of faith, but take responsibility over your health. Are we together? There is nothing wrong, and it is not lack of spirituality. When you find yourself, maybe there's some pain, there's some boil, there's some growth, there's some, you know, whatever it is. And sometimes people do not want to look like they are not believing God. So they don't take medical steps. There is nothing wrong. I do not believe there's anything wrong. Are we together? Miracle. It's important to take personal responsibility. Person. You are a teacher? Where? Private school teacher, secondary. Primary school teacher, Christ from the dead. Ah, I'm praying here, but what I'm seeing has not it just come. I need to pray.
These young people are there on their own. Huh? Do they understand what I said? Find out, please. Okay. No, no, I know. I'm talking about a, a little one. Say, you, you diagnosed with diabetes? Two of them? Okay, I can see it. There will be mighty testimonies. I'm not a doctor, but I've seen people die from this satanic thing. It's a silent killer. Madam, the anointing is on you. This woman, I decree and declare right now. Huh? Let, let that demonic thing. You see, most of it is demonic. I'm telling you this. I lay my hands upon you by faith. Every spirit planting diabetes that in spite of treatment, in spite of the drugs, it does not seem to give way. Help, help that woman. I command right now, be loose from that demonic thing. Be loose from it now. Be loose from it now. Be loose from it now. Every internal injury that has refused to heal or physical injury that has refused to heal traceable to diabetes in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Help that woman. Let the power of God rest upon you now. You shall not die. Shout amen. You shall not die. If it has killed someone within your family, in the name of Jesus, I declare minus you. Minus you. Therefore, from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, diabetes be healed now. Diabetes be healed now. Diabetes be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please return to your seat rejoicing. God bless you. Thank you. Return to your seat rejoicing. God bless you. God bless you. You know, while we were having the Sound of Revival conference, I made a call. I was, I think that was in US. I was so humbled. I made a call for those who needed to stand in, having their children suffering from mental health or autism. I could not believe the number of people who came out. Now, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not speaking professionally. I don't know what is responsible for this mental health damage and this autism. But I feel led in my spirit to just do this. Now, please listen. If you have a child, you don't necessarily need to come with a child. But if you, you, are, you are standing in trusting God for your child or someone, mental health or autism, please, very quickly, we have one minute. Come and stand here. I want to speak over your life mental health damage mental health damage or autism an autistic child Halena Shobat